Hey friends, welcome. Thank you for dropping in. If this is your first time visiting this channel, welcome. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. So today I wanted to bring to you this table. So this is an epoxy resin topped table and the rest of the table is completed with Dollar Tree items. So I used the Dollar Tree waste baskets, Dollar Tree rope. Now in the center, I did not use Dollar Tree rope. That was Walmart. I wanted to make that sort of like different look in the center and I used the thin but you could very well just take your Dollar Tree rope and untwist it and you'd have three pieces instead of the one. Sometimes I buy my rope at Dollar Tree, sometimes I buy it at Walmart. I really don't think that Dollar Tree is any more of a value than the larger sizes at Walmart. I think it all pretty much works out in the wash. So completely up to you where you buy your, where you buy the rope. And then the top I did with a Dollar Tree pizza pan and then I did resin through the top of it with mica powder and some sand. This is going to be for my porch which is going to be like a rustic a rustic beach kind of theme out there. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Super excited about it. And if you like this, you want to see how I did it, keep watching and the video will follow. And I hope you have a blessed and beautiful rest of the night. Again, if you haven't already did so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thanks. Bye. All right, so I have the pizza pan. Now, you do want to, of course, clean it with some denatured alcohol. Okay, so what I'm going to be using on this tabletop is, so I like this pizza pan because it's got the little lip, because I'm going to be putting epoxy in here to make my tabletop, so I need the little lip. And I don't want anything that I'm putting on here, I don't want it to go above the lip because I want to have a nice flat surface there. Now I am going to paint the inside of this table. So I'm using, this as milk paint. I purchased this at Michael's. It was on clearance. And let me just... Sorry, it apparently didn't, when I opened it the first time, I didn't take the center piece off and that makes a mess. You shouldn't do that. All right, so I am going to paint the center of this because I want it to be pink. I'm not going to paint it to where it's just like, thoroughly covered. I really just want this nice sort of light painted look to it. Um, side here, I'll be going over this part here. I'll be going over with like some distressing kind of paint. So this is going to be, I'm doing my porch in a like kind of rustic 
beach house kind of kind of thing, which I feel like will go great with my farmhouse decor that I go have inside my house, but it'll allow me to bring in some beach type of elements and looks since I do live by the beach. All right, so we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back. All right, so we're completely covered. I know it's hard to see because it's kind of tall. And the reason I had these rocks in there was just to keep it together while I was um, letting the glue dry. So I couldn't find my E6000. My husband must have it. He probably borrowed it for something and didn't give it back because that's what happens. So I didn't, I was afraid that the hot glue might not be enough to keep it together really well so I did also add some super glue gel now this is pretty light so if you wanted to you could put like a rock or something in this before you put the top on it to you know keep it nice and steady so my top is going to be the epoxy top now the last thing I'm going to do I did go through and try to pick off some of the glue. Now I am going to take my lighter and just go through and get rid of some of my little strings. Just be careful when you do this. Don't catch anything on fire. Don't burn yourself. You don't have to do this, but I just like to because I don't like the strings on there. I'll Certainly be careful because you're also going to have glue, so try and pick off as much of the glue as you can. This will also kind of darken your rope. and give it a little bit more of a used rustic feel. Now when I put the rope around the baskets, I, you know, hot glued it in spots. I didn't hot glue each piece of it. And you could honestly go around quite a few times without having to glue it. Now, as you can see in the center, I did choose to use the thick rope. I mean, the thin rope. I just wanted to give it a little bit of a dim different dimension. And I also knew that I was probably gonna run out of the thick rope. I needed one more piece. And I did a little bit of the thin rope on the top as well. Now, once I put the table top on, I'll probably go underneath it and, sorry, I got glue pieces everywhere that's like stuck to stuff. I will go um, through the underneath of the table and just add a little bit more rope after. So I used eight pieces of rope plus the thin rope. So I think it would take probably nine things of rope. So that makes this basket nine, 10, 11 dollars for this table so far plus the top. So $12. 
and then of course whatever you want to put in it on it if you want to mod podge glass whatever so twelve dollars plus you know whatever however it's a really really cute table i get that it's not a few dollars to make you know but it's still i mean regardless however you want to do it still going to be under 15 for a really nice little table And I'm super happy with it. Now, the baskets used to be taller than what they are. So the ta you used to be able to make a little bit bigger of a table than what you do now. But it's still, it suffices and makes for a super cute table. Sorry, a lot of little pieces sticking up and I just don't like them. So after I get done with this part, our um, metal tray should be dry. I'll add the things in there that I want to. And then I'm going to be using a two-part epoxy. Now, if I do like glitter tumblers, so that's why I already have epoxy. If you don't, epoxy is honestly really easy to use. You can get it, um, they sell an epoxy at Walmart. It's $18 and some change. That works really well. Or you can get epoxy at Michael's. That it's my favorite one that I use. Um, it's Envirotech Lite, and you can use a 40% off coupon on it and get it for a good price. And then inside your tabletop, you can do anything that you want. Now, I also think that if you weren't going to do the epoxy, I think that using the glass plate and mod podging some, you know, nautical material or whatever kind of material you like on the outside would also be a super, super nice table. And I also think that the pizza pan, you could, you know, paint it however you want to stress it. I think like that hammered metal paint that you can buy would look super good on it. There's so many options. But I'm really excited about doing this epoxy. I remember Mr. Herlinger's sixth grade class. That was a long time ago. That would have been the early 80s. very early 80s, but we made paperweights using epoxy. And we just, you know, put different things in them. I remember I put a quarter in mine. Let's see if I can, I can see how it looks. And it's gonna be really nice with the, um, I know you can sit from the angle, you can see like the air through it, but you can't see that when it's just sitting down like this. All right, so we'll put this down. Oh yeah, that is going to be so cute. All right. Let me turn you off for a minute and I'm just going to clean up this mess, okay? All right, so now we're going to make our tray. So I am going to put a little bit of sand on here. Now, mind you, I realized that I live by the beach and I went and bought sand and I bought shells. So the sand, yes, beach sand is very pretty. However, you have to sift it and you know stuff because 
let's be honest, beach sand gets cigarette butts in it, animals pee in it, people pee in it, and all kinds of other stuff. So, truth be told, I personally, personal preference, would rather buy the sand. Now, as far as the shells go, I certainly would normally go pick up shells from the beach. However, I found these shells at the Dollar Tree. And A, I realized not everybody can just walk to the beach and pick up their shells. But also, I really like the... Um, I really liked the shells. And then I also liked the little bottles that they came in. So I felt like these were shells that I'd, you know, like the bottle I would be able to use again. Now, I don't have a whole lot of room here because I don't want it to go over the top because anything that's over the top is going to stick out. So I'm only going to be using small ones. See, like that will probably stick out. I mean, that may even stick out. These might all be too big, but we'll see. Maybe if I could get the cork out. I might need like a wine thing or something. Mm. Let's try this. Oh, not going on my tray. This is such a handy little tool to hear my, but you got to be careful and poke yourself. My husband told me what the name of it was, but I forget. But anyways, like you can use it to like mark points and different things like that. I was hoping that it would. All right. I'm not going to mess with it because it's stuck in there. All right. I'll get my husband to get it out. And honestly, I think that those are all going to be too big anyways. So I have a couple little flat rocks that I think will be okay. And I'm going to put... All right, so I have my epoxy mix. We'll see if this is enough. I'm not really sure exactly how much I'm gonna need, but we'll try and see. Now, um, if you are going to use epoxy for this, please know that You need to wear protective equipment. All right, let's see. So we're going to need quite a bit more than that. That's all right. That doesn't even begin to touch it. So 
that's okay. I'll go in and mix up some more. Not a big deal. But we're going to put our blue in. And you know, to be honest, I'm actually thinking that I might not put this stuff in there because I really like how, with this not being very deep, I'm afraid that it's gonna poke out. And in all honesty, like I really am totally digging how this looks with the sand you know what I mean so let me just pull these out just thinking this is gonna look it'll look so much better without anything in there because this is such a shallow pan and I can see that anything that I put in there really is going to stick up, unless it was like a flat pitcher. Hold on, I'll shut my door. Sorry about that. It was just FedEx. All right, let's see. Before I make up more, let me just see what I'm actually going to need. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I think that if I do one more container like this, all right, I'll be right back. All right, now I didn't make a full thing of it like last time because I don't know that I'm gonna need that much and I feel like it's easier to, that's a little thick, sorry. It's just easier to keep making it than to waste it. I mean, it's easy to waste it, but I'd rather keep making it than waste it, okay. Yeah, because see, once it settles, you realize you have a lot more than you thought that you did. This is going to be so pretty. So these pieces that I took out that have epoxy on them, I'm just going to spread them in the bottom of this thing with the epoxy and just see how it comes out because I feel like I'll be able to do something super fun with these. Sorry, I'm just going to put this little bit of excess that I have. And I will be doing a cup tonight, so if I have any excess from that, I'll probably put it on it too. Sorry about this, but you got to do this stuff while it's wet. All right, so I feel good about this. I'm so glad that I decided 
to put that mica powder in there. I think that is going to be so pretty. All right. So this will have to sit and dry. And then we'll come back to it once it has once it has completely dried. Okay. Oh, I got a little something right there. Sorry. Oh, let me show you this real quick in case you're not someone who does tumblers. These edges. Take my gloves off now since I'm not really messing with the epoxy. So I keep so baby wipes are great for that. And honestly, in the realm of, oh, I got that in the epoxy. In the realm of epoxy, this really did not take much at all. So, if you don't normally do epoxy, you don't have to buy a bunch to have tons of leftovers if you don't want to. All right. Okay, so this is going to be super cute. I'm going to put it to the side, and I'll see you when it's done. And I'm excited also to see what this, I think it will be, it'll come out cute. I'll put it in like a planter or on a shelf or something. I think it's going to be cute since I couldn't use it inside my pan. I don't know why I never thought of doing a top like this before. All right, well, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. All right, so here's my tabletop. The epoxy is all completely dry. It turned out so good. I'm super happy with it. Looks so nice, nice and hard. I love the colors. Now, um, it wasn't deep enough. The pan wasn't deep enough for me to put anything in here. If you had a you know, deeper type of item you were doing it, then you could have put stuff in there like I was going to do the shells. Okay, so now the last thing I'm going to do before I put it, attach it to the table base is this rim. I don't necessarily want, you know, the rim to look just shiny silver like this. So I'm going to take a few colors and I'm going to just sort of um, deepen my rim. All right, so I'm going to start with, this is the Waverly Chalk Paint, and this is in Mineral. And I've got some just pouncing sponges here, and I'm just going to apply some different colors until I feel good with it. Sorry, this hasn't been open. So if you like the Tumblr videos, I have one coming that I'm so excited about. Um, I'm doing a dragonfly for somebody, but I did it with a dirty pour and it came out super good. I'm so happy with how it came out. So I will be putting some epoxy on that and... I just really like to come back with finished cups, you know, then rather than just the, you know, technique itself. So that should be finished here soon. So I'm thinking here in the next couple days, I should be able to have it up. So the nice thing with this tabletop being epoxy, I don't have to tape over it because I can easily just wipe any mess that I make off. Now I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to take the lazy way out and I'm not going to do the underneath of the table because the simple fact that it is going to be, um, you know, secured to the table base and you're not going to see it. However, if I know that there are people that that would drive them crazy. So by all means, if 
you know, you need to do the, the bottom of the tray, then certainly paint the bottom of the tray too. But you will not see me do that because I'm not going to. So I'm just going to pounce around. Now, anything that I get on my epoxy, though, I will wipe it up, you know, quickly, simply because I don't want it to um, dry because I don't want to have to scrape on my epoxy. Sometimes I am just not the best about um, mixing my paint, I'll be honest with you. My husband gives me a hard time about my forgetting to mix all the time. Go in and all right. So my mineral, I'm gonna go all the way around like this. That's kind of like my base. And then my others, I'm just going to, um, you know, kind of go in spots and then and then I'm, I've got the antique wax I'm going to do also. So since I'm starting with my light colors, I'm not even going to worry about my cleaning my brush in between. Uh, looking up to see if you can see out the window because my husband's standing at the window. Um, he's, you know, taking care of the plants out there. It's it's so funny. He, that man has got like a green thumb for, for real. He makes everything grow. Like I had this tiny little rose bush that I bought from... Um, Sam's and that thing let me just tell you he um he has that thing it is like so high up the wall it is unbelievable like he grows everything I make everything die and he grows it all but anyways he's out there um, watering and feeding plants and he was out the window making faces at me, so <laughs> I had to make sure you couldn't see him making goofy faces. All right, so this is silver. Um, it's chalk paint, um, the Waverly, and it's called Silver Lining. I just used a little bit of that, and then... I'm going to kind of go in with my dryer brush here and just kind of go back and just pounce over that. All right, and then this one is called Steel. This one is not a chalk paint. This is just a regular um, acrylic. And because sometimes I don't pay attention, like it, I generally buy more of the chalk paint, but you know, sometimes they get, um, you know, people don't put them back in the right place. And sometimes I'm bad about not, um, 
paying attention. Um, but really just because I like the fact that the chalk paint just tends to dry faster and I like that, you know, more chalky look that it gives, but I'm not using a lot of this and it'll mix in just fine. This is a good color, this steel. I like it a lot. Um, it, and you know, the elephant gray, I like the elephant gray a lot too, but I do like this steel. It's a good color. I do know that I'm getting it on my stuff there too. I'll wipe that off. All right, so that's good. So, and like you can see, I'm not, you know, not putting a lot of the colors on there. And the other thing is, just so you know, it, with the, once your epoxy is dry, you don't want to do it while it's wet, because, you know, you'll make it not harden. But once it's dry, it's okay to put a little, you could put a little alcohol on to clean off anything that you need to, and you won't hurt it. Okay. All right, so... Which one was my dry one? That one, okay. Go back with my dry one again and just. Okay. So now I've got my antique wax. I think I've gone through so much of this. This might be a new one. Yeah, it is. I'm going to open it. Sorry. I'm the worst with that. I'm super excited about this table. It's really nice. Um, I think my husband and I might do a... We were talking about... Um, wanting to do a larger topped um, a larger topped uh, resin top on you know for like a shelf kind of piece in the living room but I just I haven't yet found a piece that I want so when we do we'll we'll do it because we want to do like the that um, river running through the table kind of thing it's just a matter of the right piece coming coming to us And this is just the the wax. So the wax is good because, you know, it gives the antiquing color, but it'll also keep the chalk paint from um, cracking. Let's go in and kind of pounce it in. All right, so now I'm gonna, I'll let my tabletop dry. I feel happy with it and I will let it dry. And then once it dries, we'll come back together and put it on the, um, we'll secure it to the table base and we'll be done.
All right, we'll see you in a bit. I'll do the hot glue. Oh, I guess I need another stick of glue. Oh, excuse me, Chloe. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Am I in your way, ma'am? So funny. My dog thinks that this is her room. She really does. Oh, darn it. I never turned my thing on. All right. And let's see, did I put my thing of rocks back? Oh no, they're right here. Is my hot glue gun. It's hot. Well, Now I'm going to just turn it over. So I want to add hot glue. All right, let's see if you can see. All right, so the so the E6000, I put some on the top. Now I want to put it kind of down here also. So remember the E6000 is for the long-term hold and the hot glue is for the right now hold. So the one thing with, you know, this is that 
course, you know, these are Dollar Tree baskets. So they are certainly not always going to be made the best as far as how even they All right, so this table, I'm so happy with it. It turned out super cute. All right, so here is my table, completely done. The epoxy top. And other than the epoxy and glue, all made with Dollar Tree items. However, Dollar Tree does sell a glue that's similar to the E6000. And my glue sticks did come from there, but they definitely don't have epoxy. So anyways, that is the finished product, project, product. Yeah, the finished product. So, I'm really super happy with it. I love how it turned out and I hope that you like it. So anyways, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. Thanks. Have a beautiful and blessed rest of the day. Bye.